In Windows 10, I'm going to show you how to enable remote desktop. So let's go down to the start button in the lower left side, click on search, and just type in control panel. There's our control panel. And from here, we're going to click on the system icon. And then we're going to click on remote settings. Click on remote settings, and we see that don't allow remote connections to this computer is automatically checked. So what you can do is go ahead and check the box that says allow remote connections to this computer. Now when you do that, you're going to get a message saying, hey, the computer is set up to go to sleep or hibernation. So if the computer goes to sleep and you try to remote into it, then it may not be able to be able to be remoted into. So just go ahead and click OK, or you can go to the power options and you can change that. Now we also have the option here to allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication. So this is a higher end uh, authentication, higher end encryption that you can set or unset. If you want to use an older version of remote desktop, just go ahead and uncheck it. If you're not sure, go ahead and leave it checked and see if you can remote in. And if you can, then leave it checked and it gives you better security. If you can't, then just go back to the spot and uncheck it. We'll go ahead and leave it checked. Now we want to select the users. So the users here, by default, whoever is logged in at the time will automatically get access to this particular remote desktop option. You can also just click uh, Add, and then from here you can type in the name of the person that you want to be able to have access, such as the administrator or whoever. Click Check Name, and then you can say, OK, that user now has access as well. If you're not sure what users you have, then go to Control Panel, click on Users, and you can see the list of users in the system. When you're all done, go ahead and click Apply, and then test it out. Now, if you're trying to get to this remotely from another location, you'll need to edit your firewall, so you'll have to do a port forward. So I'll show you how mine is set up, and then you can take a look and see if yours is similar. So I'm in my Xfinity Gateway because I'm using Comcast, and if you're not sure which the IP address is of your router, you can just go down to a command prompt or just go to right click and search and type CMD and you get a command prompt and just type IP config just like that IP on FIG and then you're going to see the default gateway right there. And my default gateway is 192.168.15.1. Just go ahead and ignore the IP version 6 gateway. We don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. So I've gone to 192.168.15.1, as you can see at the top. And now I'm in my router slash gateway. So now what we want to do is we want to go to um, down to the advanced option. And we go to where it says port forwarding. So we want to enable port forwarding by clicking the enable box. And then we click add service. Now you can see I've gone ahead and done this. This is what yours should look like when you're done. So it says remote desktop, TCP, port 3389. That's what remote desktop uses. You put that in as the starting and the endpoint, And then the IP address of the computer you're on. So if you're not sure, once again, we can go down to that command prompt, type IP config. And it'll say at the top, the IP version 4 address is the one that we want. And that's 192.168.15.2. Yours, I'm sure, will be something different. All right, so what we want to do now is click on Add Service. So I'll just give you an example. And we can choose Other. Give it the name. I'll call this RDP1 because I already have the RDP in there. And then you want to put in the IP address, the one I just told you, 192, and tab. Oops, we have to get rid of that period. There we go. 168, tab, 15, tab, 2. Leave server IPv6 alone. And then the starting point, 3389, and the end point, 3389. Now, this would give me an error if I did this because I've already done it, but it won't give that to you. So you go ahead and click Save, and then when you get back in, you're going to see this service name just like you see here. So now you need to know what your IP address is on the outside of your network. So go to All Tech Tools, and you click on What's My IP? What's my IP? And there it is. There's my IP address. That's my public address. So that's what the IP address I'm going to remote into from the outside using a remote desktop client. So I've got remote desktop set up on the computer. I've got it set up on the outside firewall gateway. And now all you have to do is to open up the remote desktop client. 
and then you can get into this computer. However, you got to make sure that you're on a specific type of Windows. So you can see here, I'm on Windows 10 Enterprise. This only works on Windows 10 Professional and Enterprise. If you see Windows 10 Home, then this isn't going to work for you. You're going to have to upgrade to Professional. Don't worry about going to Enterprise. That's really expensive. All right, so once you are all set up, then uh, let's say you're on a computer on the outside. So what you do is you're on your outside computer. You'll go once again to search and just type in remote desktop and you get your remote desktop connection. And then you type in the public IP address that I just showed you under the what's my IP under all tech tools and you'll put in that IP address and you'll click connect and then you'll be able to connect to a computer. And then from there, you'll be able to have remote access into your computer at home or at your office. So that's how you set up remote desktop in Windows 10.